The amount we are expected to get is they should be paying us the same salary that we we, we retired with. Uh, uh, because if you can go to other uh, 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 uniform uh, organization now, they are paying them the money that they are collecting when they were in the police. And apart from that, they should remove us from the PENCOM. Because the PENCOM, they are cheating us a lot. The PENCOM, they are cheating us a lot. Even the little money, there was a little money they pay presently now. For we went there, they said they are not going to pay us, that they are going to split the money. Some people will find 150,000 in their account, and they will say they, will, they are going to be paying them 1,500 naira every month. So we are asking them that what of the area areas? Because that money is supposed to be paid to us uh, before now, and the money was not paid. When they pay the money, they say they are going to split it into 1,000. They should remove us from Pencom. We want to go back to our normal pension uh, uh, scheme. They don't even understand whether we have served Nigeria. After serving Nigeria for 35 years, many of us died in the course of this work. Many of us suffered, especially somebody like me that work in Meduguri. I carried corpses of uh, uh, Boko Haram victims, over 100, to, 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 uh, uh, to University Teacher Hospital uh, Machuari. Because the way people were killed. And as a policeman, you can never refuse to go and do that work. But yet, we will end up, government will take a pay note to give us, to say, go. I'm even lucky. Some here who retired earlier than me are receiving 20 something thousand as CSPs in the Nigeria Police Force. It's a far, we, are, we are crying, we are begging. And we, we, we know that the National Assembly can help us. Because it was under this scheme that the military, the DSS, and the intelligence community were removed from the contributory, contributory pension scheme in 2014. We are aware of that. We can, you can also help us because if we are waiting for the police, they are, they are benefiting from this scheme. The hierarchy of the police is benefiting from this scheme. They own the MPF Pensions Limited, which is like a, a limited liability company. That's why we played with you, sir. Help us. Retired police officers staged a peaceful protest against the pension scheme in Kaduna and Abuja on Monday, September 20th and Tuesday, September 21st, respectively. In a bid to express their grievances, the officers chanted solidarity songs while marching to the state police command headquarters and the National Assembly displaying their disapproval in what they described as a killer scheme. ASPL Nathan D. Jared the Secretary of the FCT Chapter of the Association of Retired Officers of Nigeria under Continuity Pension Scheme, who represented other retired officers at the National Assembly in Abuja, expressed his grievances over the poor payment received by others after 35 years of service. At that time, we have served up to 20-something years. Some have served up to 30 years before that time. And on retirement, what they paid us is just a peanut. We have complained, we have written severally, no positive action has come up. That's why today we repeat what we did on the 28th of April, in which you addressed us and you spoke with us that the Senate is going to do something about it. Thereafter, we got a letter inviting us for an interactive session with the Senate. That was done. And it was also in that forum that it was, as it was advised, to set up a committee to see how you can amend or to bring a proposal for the amendment of Section 51A of the 2014 Pension Act. That has not been done to today. Instead, what was done, from what we saw, they sent us a letter that they are going to consider a committee to do that. But yet, from that June till now, nothing has been done. Instead, the MPA pensions and our big men were touring the zones that paying policemen or, or retired officers and hiring tasks from the pack that we said we are, we are comfortable with the contributed pension scheme, which was a big foul. We never said so. While responding to the questions of the retired officers, Senator Hali Rujika, the Chairman of the Senate Committee on Police, said the Inspector General of Police, Usman Al-Kali Baba, was meant to submit an amendment bill through the committee so as to decide on what parliament will present the bill. Jika further assured them that the bill will be treated as a private member bill. 
of promising to you that if that one is not done, I personally will take responsibility and uh, deal with the bill as a private member bill. I made that promise to you. And, and I am still on it. But on your part also, you are supposed to submit an input for us to move forward. You know your problems much better than we do. But I assured you, even that time, that we are with you, we stand by you. And your interest, honestly, is in the foremost of our mind. It will be recalled that the retired police officers had earlier threatened to embark on a massive nationwide protest if they are not removed from contributory pension fund and moved back to the National Pension Commission. For some time, police officers in the country have been kicking against the pension scheme. They had requested for retirement allowance for police officers who were trained on various skills. They also complained that after spending several years serving the country, the federal government chose to treat them with disdain.